good afternoon guys um it's about noon sorry i haven't been vlogging much lately i've been really sick um um and when i mean sick i just mean in a lot of pain can you turn it down just a little bit until the commercial goes but um i think this is no better time to like tell you guys and stuff a little bit about my health um i first got diagnosed with fibromyalgia um, which is a widespread nerve pain. Um, I'll put the I'll put the description of exactly what it is in the description below, and um, and I uh, oh, there's Tara and Preshi, <laughs> and then uh, so I was diagnosed with that first um, because I was having like extreme back pain. Um, one, like, when I first met Mark, I was about 145 pounds. I was really petite thing, you know, and, um, and I, we, you know, like, I was still small and, you know, I was a really athletic person before. Um, I was really into soccer and football and basketball, you know, I was really athletic. Um, it comes from a family of athletes. My, both of my brothers are big into sports um they grew up playing basketball and football too um and then just one day um at the beginning of me and mark's relationship um there was one day where i woke up and i could not get out of bed like i was in so much pain like my body like my whole body hurt so bad and he had to help me get up and like i'm like oh my god there's something wrong like i was telling him there's something wrong and then um, went to my doctor at that point. That's when we were still living in Milwaukee. And uh, they ran so many tests to try to figure out why I was having so much pain. And they were like, you know, in your test, we can see inflammation of your muscles and um, things of that sort. You know, your muscles are inflaming and that's what's causing all this pain. But I had also told them, you know, my back feels like it's just ripping my back muscles feel like they're like ripping apart and um and then they did numerous tests then and saw that i was having muscle spasms and then they gave me you know uh prednisone which is steroids and um pain medications and stuff like that that's the thing that blew my weight up um i gained like almost 100 pounds in eight months um from taking the steroids and stuff and then um uh, it took maybe a good two years before they even diagnosed me with fibromyalgia. Um, they have to do like numerous amount of tests because they're because fibromyalgia is an autoimmune disease and there are hundreds of autoimmune diseases. And so they have to like um, process of elimination to kind of figure out what I have. And they ran so many tests, so many tests. Um, and at that time, they did test me for lupus, but I did not have any traces in my system of it. And um, so, you know, they finally diagnosed me with fibromyalgia, put me on fibromyalgia medication, and I was still having extreme amount of pain. Like the medication and everything they had me on was not helping. Um, they ran more tests, went to numerous amount of doctor's appointments, and there was still nothing. So um, after that, and since it was causing a lot more pain, um, they ran more tests and found out that I have chronic pain syndrome on top of the fibromyalgia, which causes more pain, um, unfortunately. And um, that part sucks. And, you know, um, still, you know, they continuously do a test and everything. And... I was telling them how does having chronic pain syndrome and fibromyalgia cause these extreme muscle spasms that cause even more pain and that's what made them continuously run more tests and then that's when they found traces of lupus in my bloodstream and with lupus it is a autoimmune disease as well um, and with lupus it causes your body to attack itself um, and it, it runs different with each person that has it. Um, I knew someone where they had lupus and it targeted their heart. Unfortunately, she passed away, God rest her soul. Um, 
with my cousin Tanya who you guys seen in the concert vlog um, she has lupus as well and it attacks her kidneys um, and for me with my lupus um, it is attacking my muscles and that's what's causing the extreme muscle spasms and along with the muscle spasms is causing my muscles to have extreme pain and that's where the fibromyalgia and the chronic pain syndrome kick in and cause ex more excruciating pain so um, unfortunately you know some days it's awesome you know my body it's a little bit of pain you know but I'm able to do and get up and do but then there's some days where it's hard to get up out of bed um, where I need Mark and Tara's help to pretty much do everything because my muscles are just so weak and in so much pain that I can't, you know, bend down and tie my shoe. Um, so it, it gets really bad. Um, and the other day I did have a day where it was just super bad where I just needed Tara and Mark's help. And um, I didn't vlog a lot that day. I think I vlogged during the day that day, but then I stopped vlogging because I was in a lot of pain. And um, I really didn't vlog yesterday. I just recorded a little bit of video on my phone yesterday, but it's pr probably literally like two minutes worth of stuff. Um, so I, that's why I thought today would be a good day to just kind of like sit down and talk to you guys about um, about what's wrong with me. And, um, you know, and unfortunately, you know, my doctor told me this is permanent. So um, it's something I will have to deal with the rest of my life. And... I've grown to cope with it. Um, I still um, get anxiety thinking about it. You know, like um, the days that I have pain, like that's where my um, anxiety um, attacks started coming into play because the days where I have extreme amount of pain, it gets frustrating for me because I'm so used to being independent and now to have to be dependent on people you know it gets frustrating so it does cause me to have anxiety which i also have anxiety medication for and um it just gets really frustrating you know i have to really really like kind of like make a schedule for my day and go about it like that and sometimes i have to scratch off things that are on that checklist because I can't physically do it or I'm so exhausted by the time I get to that point that I can't do it anymore so, so. yeah guys um the lupus that I have affects my muscles so um there are times where I get muscle weakness muscle spasms that are uncontrollable and the littlest things can trigger it like um the pain that I've been having got triggered by standing up off the couch which is crazy i know but just the slightest jerk can cause my muscles to spasm out of control um there was one time that it happened really bad when um me and tara uh went fishing oh, wow. and um i caught the smallest fish it was literally like this small and um, I went to reach, you know, like I know not to like extend my arm really far to try to stretch and reach for something. So I pulled the fishing pole closer to me and the fish was literally like this far away from me, the distance between like my iPad and me. And I went like this to grab it and it caused the most excruciating back pain I had ever had. And... I was so scared because it was just me and Tara out there and I'm like Tara is too small to help you know oh my god what am I gonna do am I gonna have to call the ambulance like oh my god I couldn't I was sitting down on some rocks and I could not get up and Tara used all of her body strength strength to pick me up off those rocks her back was hurting for like what two days after helping me yeah, it was like two days after helping me up her back was hurting because she used all of her strength to get me up and for like I would say like a good week um i needed tara and mark's help just to get to the position of laying down in the bed to get up from bed to help me you know um, take a shower just to help me sit on a chair like i needed help with everything um by god's grace i haven't had pain like that since then um, but in my mind i know it could happen so I always try to be careful of what I'm doing and stuff like that. But um, so, um, so yeah, uh, that's the extent of what I go through on a daily basis. So I have to, um, 
I have to second guess everything I do. I have to plan it out. Um, even something as simple as carrying a tray up the stairs. Like, you know, like, you know, just something really simple. I can't carry anything heavy because you know how, you, you know, the, the center point of your body is, um, um, but like I have to, you know, like plan everything out and stuff. Like I can't lift anything heavy because the back is your center point of your body. You move back muscles when you walk, when you move your arms, when you move your head, you're moving, you're moving mus uh, muscles from the back. So I even have to, like if there's too many stairs, I have to second guess if I can make it up those, if I'm carrying stuff up the stairs, if I'm bending over to pick something up or bending over to tie my shoe, or even getting up from the sitting position or the laying position. I have to think of everything I have to do and how I'm doing. So I have to like constantly think of, um, of everything I have to do because the slightest thing can... Um, <coughs> cause my muscles to inflame really bad and spasm just like how I said the pain that I've been in the past few days came from me just getting up off the couch too fast um which sucks so bad like I it sucks but you know I have to I have to think of it I bet I could fit like all of these Oh, those are just the pills that I have to take in the morning. Um, one is for my fibromyalgia, my depression. Um, the other one is a pain pill. And then I also have, um, I'm going to bring it down here. I also have my anxiety medication, which I don't have to take right now. I'm probably going to take it within the next two hours. Um, but I I have about seven no six daily ones and a couple of them that I um, take as needed for certain items. Um, it sucks to always have to take a lot of medication and stuff. And um, the pain medication one that I have that I have to take right now normally I don't take it until I know I'm be done with everything for the day you know like say for example if I have to go grocery shopping or things like that um, I normally wait till after I'm finished to take it because it does make me really drowsy and I don't drive w when after I take it but um, because I know I'm not doing anything today that's why I took it now um, because I am in pain with my my back and my uh, legs and stuff so um so yeah i kind of wanted to just make this video giving you guys the gist of it i'm going to put a link down in this description about um it's a video about spoons but it kind of puts into perspective what people with um fibromyalgia and pains period you know with their health in general um how they have to go about every day and it kind of puts it into a more perspective i definitely will um you know definitely you guys should definitely check it out and stuff and get a better understanding of um of what i go through on a daily basis but um you know i don't want sympathy you know from anyone or anything i just wanted to bring awareness that these um chronic pain diseases exist you know that people deal with it every day and i'm i'm unfortunately i am one of them and um you know, I'm just blessed to have, you know, some people, you know, people in my life that, you know, really understand what I go through on a daily basis who help, you know, like Tara and Mark, for example, because they do live with me. I'm glad I have Mark's muscle power to help me, you know, get up, sit down and stuff when I really need his help. And I'm glad that I have Tara's young endurance to kind of help with other things, household stuff, things like that. Um, she's a really big help with. So I'm blessed in that department to have help. But um. But, you know, it's crazy because I've been dealing with this for years now and I'm 28 years old and, um, you know, now it's starting to get at its peak of work being worse, you know, and, um, you know, I definitely do some research, you know, become knowledgeable in it. Like I said, there are so many autoimmune diseases out there. Um, my twin brother also has one, but he is one that a lot of people have heard of, um, MS, um, Musculoskeletal, I forgot what it is. 
atherosclerosis, yeah, um, which is also a nerve disease. Um, so we pretty much have, we both have nerve diseases, but they're both different. Um, you know, they're, they're kind of the same, but they're different. Um, he got diagnosed a long time ago, but he is able to, you know, because they have certain medications that he can take that, you know, pinpoint f his MS, you know, he, he's so up up and at him he's um athletic he does triathlons and marathons all the time he and the, um he did the tough mutter tough mutter just recently and he's yeah. so active and i i i'm i just thank god that um he's able to do all that you know what i mean um unfortunately i can't you know my doctor doesn't even want me to uh work out at this point so and that's frustrating too you know i want to i've never been this big in my life and i want to lose the weight and stuff but but you know i just wanted to bring you guys awareness of what i go through on a daily basis and hopefully this brings to light you know a lot of questions that people may have have um with these certain diseases and like i said i'll put descriptions below of the um of what they mean of what the, each of these um, illnesses that I have are um, to give you guys a better understanding and um, you know yeah hit the thumbs up button please share this video to um, kind of bring awareness for um, lupus fibromyalgia chronic pain syndrome you know share it you know like you may have loved ones who have it too you know share this video with them um, hopefully people get a better understanding from this and if you guys have any questions do not hesitate to ask leave them um, you know leave the questions in the comments and I'll definitely I, I answer every comment so you know I reply to every comment I mean so um, you know definitely leave questions if you have it and um yeah this will probably be the only video i upload for today um will be this video because you guys understand i just need it i just need more rest i need to be able to just relax and um kind of relax my body into um kind of relax my body for the pain and stuff so um so love you guys have an awesome day and uh, we will be back to our regular vlogs tomorrow so have a great day, guys.